Hey Virgo, welcome back to my channel. It's the Nutcase, Casey Nicole. And I'm back again here on the Nutcase Network with all the shenanigans, my darlings. How are y'all doing? Virgo, I hope you're doing well. This, these are going to be your March 2021 messages. We're going to be using the good, the bad, and the ugly spread. But first, remember that the messages are general. And they may not be for every Virgo out there. So be sure to go with what you know. And remember, time is fluid. It moves like water. It could be past, present, or future energy. My nose is itching. Ooh. <laughs> be sure to check out your Virgo playlist to check out all of the other videos for you in my playlist tab. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button, you guys. Turn on post notifications. Make sure you put them on all because the post notifications sometimes don't come out. Okay, and if you're already subscribed to my channel, thank you so much for your love and support. I really appreciate you guys. So let's go ahead and see what is going on for you in March, Virgo. Guardian Angels, what is my Virgo's overall energy for March 2021? Y'all keep in mind, my messages are timeless. Even though I'm focusing on March, I really do believe that whenever you're called to the messages when you're meant to receive it. So, what is my Virgo's overall energy for March 2021, Guardian Angels, Spirit Guides, Ancestors, Archangels, Father God? Ooh, base chakra. Mm. So, you're getting grounded in March, Virgo. You're trying to gain some stability. You're trying to get yourself, you know, right. You're trying to get your mind right. Ooh, yes, and balance. See, 111. You could be seeing 111 a lot or 1111. Okay, this is the Libra card. Like, justice. So you could be dealing with some court proceedings this month. You could be going to court. Or you could be filing some, like, legal documents or paperwork. I feel like you're trying to get things in order. You're trying to get your life balanced. I just really feel a relaxed energy from you, Virgo. You you ain't with the shit this month. You really are trying to stay to yourself. Trying to be minding your business. And it's, and it's like you're trying to get yourself grounded. You're trying to get to the bottom of something, maybe legally. Or, or gain the truth. It's like you're trying to do justice to you. Like, like you're trying to become more stable, more more evenly keeled because you feel like it's time. Like you've reached a point in your life where you got to like chill out a little bit or you've reached a point in your life where you need more stability here. So I feel like that is your main focus for March. So let's see where, look, well, let's see what you need to keep in mind during whatever you're dealing with in March. Guardian Angels, what do my Virgos need to keep in mind with whatever they will encounter in March 2021? What do they need to keep in mind? Okay, conclusions are within reach. So I feel like a lot of you guys could be going to court or filing some type of paperwork, dealing with the legal system or the justice system. And I feel like you're about to get some type of resolution, full moon, eclipse. At the bottom is balance, spirituality, and practicality. Wow. So a lot about balance, but I feel like you are needing to remember that even if you're trying to become more spiritual, you still need to be practical about your spiritual journey. If you're trying to become more stable financially, you need to be practical about your accomplishments that, you know, things are not just, sometimes they're not just going to fall into place. Sometimes you really just kind of have to let it, you know, go with the flow here. I feel like that's what you're needing to keep in mind is full moon and Pisces water is flow. So I get the energy that your guardian angels want you to keep in mind to go with the flow. Just let things happen the way they're supposed to happen, Virgo, because you're about to receive the conclusion that you want or you're about to receive word back um, about whatever situation you're inquiring about. And you're going to feel more balanced. I feel like justice is going to be served and it's going to allow you to feel more grounded, more focused. Okay, let's see what signs could possibly be coming your way this month for my Virgos, Guardian Angels, what signs could they possibly be encountering? You could have Libra in your chart, maybe Taurus, possibly Pisces, or you could be dealing with someone with those signs in their chart. Let's see who else you could... Oh, shit. Sagittarius. Okay, so we're going to take that. 
Virgo angels, what other signs may my Virgos possibly be encountering? Water, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sagittarius. Can I get one more? Venus. Okay. Like I said, Taurus or Libra. At the bottom is Scorpio. At the back is Libra. Okay. So there could be a very strong Libra that you're encountering. Maybe a Taurus, um, possibly a Scorpio, maybe Cancer or Pisces. I feel like more so Pisces, less Cancer, and Sagittarius. Let us get some romance angels to see what else we can find out for you in March, Virgo. What is going on? I also feel like you're about to come to the conclusion about a situation or either, either you're going to come to a conclusion because you get some type of like legal documentation or you're able to like, you're able to like start something because you, you get some type of paperwork. Maybe you file for your business license, um, a certification or something like that. And it's, it's about to come back in March. It's about to basically final, finalize in March. Okay, so let me see. Guardian Angels, can you show me any additional information for my Virgos in regards to the situation that they're going to be encountering? Hold on, let me put my chair up, y'all. <laughs> okay, any additional information for my Virgos in regards to situations in March, Guardian Angels? Y'all be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Okay, retreat, release your ex. Oh my gosh, okay. So retreat, it's time to disconnect from the world. You could be going on a vacation, you could be taking a trip, staycation, or you could just be leaving somebody, breaking up with somebody, or... Moving on from the past, release your ex. This time, to, the the time has come to clear your energy. So yeah, that could be why you got the balance card. You could be going through a divorce of some kind, and you finally get like your paperwork back. Can I get one more from my Virgos, please, to offer more information? Oh, no, Jesus, that was way too many. Okay, thank you. Children, your love life is being affected by children. So you could also be working through childhood issues, childhood trauma, or you could just be kind of frustrated because I feel like you're trying to get balance between your social life and your family life or your individual dreams and hopes um, compared to what you have to do for your kids. If you have kids, if it's not a situation where children are literally like, causing trouble for you to date not necessarily like it's their fault but i'm saying like it's hard when you have to date and you have kids so if it's not really that it could just be you trying to release past childhood traumas and move forward okay worth waiting for is at the bottom and ooh, unrequited love is at the back and for some of you i feel like you're breaking up with somebody divorcing somebody getting out of a situation because you feel like what you really want is worth waiting for. The person who more so fits, you know, your personality or fits what you want is worth waiting for. So you're getting away from anybody in your past or you're moving on from a past lover, past connection, or you're moving on just from friends or family, people who did not like serve your life. I just got to get this little, it's just dust from the sage. <laughs> it gets on my nerves because it always blows around when I'm doing the cards. Okay, so let's see what else is going on. We're going to do the good, the bad, and the ugly for you. Yeah. Be sure to check out all my playlists or your other signs that are in your chart to get more information. Okay, guardian angels, what is the good part about March for my Virgos, March 2021? What's the good part? Yes, Queen of Cups, loving yourself. I feel like I feel like you, oh, Virgo, you're realizing how much love you have to give. You're opening up your heart. You're allowing your emotions to flow freely within your soul and your spirit, Virgo. And you could be, you could be. Either, you, I mean, you could have a Scorpio or Pisces friend, Cancer maybe, but I really feel like it's a Scorpio or a Pisces. 
Okay, you could be talking to this friend, expressing your feelings, or maybe it's actually a love interest, someone coming into your life, someone who's very emotional, but loving and caring. But I also feel like you're developing love for yourself. Ooh, temperance at the bottom. There goes the Sagittarius. So I feel, yeah, I feel like, or these could be signs that are in your chart. I feel like you're really just trying to, this is balance, like balance, 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 okay? Like everything about March for you is being very patient, calm, only giving to situations that give back to you, only doing things that serve you, Virgo, let go on with the flow, okay? Giving back to yourself, loving yourself, doing things for yourself, possibly taking a staycation or getting a massage of some kind. What's the Queen of Cups? Why is the Queen of Cups the good for my Virgos? What's the Queen of Cups for my Virgos? Ten of Pentacles. So you're really loving what you do. You're loving the business that you have. Um, or what you do for a living. I feel like you're also enjoying your home. I feel like you're putting a lot of love, energy, and effort into your home. What else is the Queen of Cups? Six of Swords. Okay, for, with this Ten of Pentacles and the Six of Swords, I feel like you're moving on from literally like this could be a divorce or separation legal separation, something that you're doing to separate yourself from someone who you've built a family with, possibly that you have kids with, baby mama, baby daddy, common law, ex-husband, ex-wife, all that shit. I feel like you're moving forward. I feel like also your business could be progressing here or you're thinking of ways to expand. You're, you're meditating about ways to expand your business or to... Um, further your career. But yeah, Ace of Cups. What's the Ten of Pentacles? Eight of Cups. Yeah, it's like you're walking away from a relationship or a home. You could be moving, but I really feel like more so... You're trying to move on from anything that has caused a burden on your emotions. What's the Six of Swords? But I feel like you're going to be successful with that. Yeah. Okay, so I really feel like this is a really specific message for a specific Virgo who's either getting a divorce, legally separating, or breaking up with somebody who they could possibly have children with or they could have built a home with if you don't have children. But I feel like you're moving on to like dating. What's the three of cups? Ten of cups. Yeah, to be happy. You could also be going out with your friends this month. Having a lot of celebrations. You could know people who have. I mean, because you got the queen of cups here. So you could know um, a Pisces who has a birthday this month. You're going out to celebrate. Having a party. Y'all having a good time. You got two tens here. Ten, ten. Then you got one, one, one. What's the eight of cups? But I feel like you're moving forward. Your life is progressing. Yeah. Oh, my God. Definitely could meet a new fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sag. I also feel like, Virgo, even if you're not meeting somebody new, even if this doesn't have to do with you, like, breaking up with somebody currently, you could just be moving forward after bad situations in love to pursue your passions. I feel like you're moving, you're you're walking towards your happiness here. The sun is in the background. I feel like anything that has failed, like a business venture or a relationship in the past, you're leaving that behind you and you're starting a fresh, clean slate because you want to be happy with this 10 of cups. You could definitely be meeting a new fire sign or you could be gaining a new idea this month about something that you want to do for your existing business, a home business, or for a business you want to create. What's the Ace of Wands? 
What's the Ace of Wands? King of Pentacles. Okay. So you could be meeting somebody new who is a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Possibly a Taurus. You could you could possibly okay. <laughs> you could possibly be having sex with this person for the first time. It makes you very happy. Like they take you out on a date. It's very nice. I feel like they they are very open with you and you it, it helps you to move forward from whatever shit you were dealing with in the past. You discover love again in your heart. Somebody ignites your fire again. After it's been kind of like dull. What's the Ten of Cups? Empress. Yeah, and, and I feel like you're ready to grow and expand with this person. I feel like somebody may tell you they want to have a baby with you or they... Or they want to have your baby or... Like they want to grow with you. They want to like get married one day or it's like, it's like, I, I just see you discussing like future. Like what's your five-year plan? What's your five-year plan? Like, where do you see yourself in the next, you know, year? Like somebody who's discussing that they want to like date proactively with you. What's the King of Pentacles? The star. This person could be fi very financially stable. They could be very good at what they do or very popular. Their business could be very popular. Or this could actually be your idea as well that you're starting. I feel like you're gaining a new idea or you're celebrating opening a new business. You, you could be throwing a party because you're opening a new business and it's bringing in a lot of money. You're getting a lot of customers. You're very popular. Your business is growing. That's what I feel. And you're really loving yourself. You feel very like rejuvenated. It's something about you feeling rejuvenated, feeling fresh. You feel like there's hope for the future. Okay. I feel like something you're doing is reaching like a worldwide platform or it's reaching a level where people in other countries, cities or states are recognizing you and it's giving you hope to keep going because you're breaking through. It's like a breakout, breakthrough. You know what I'm saying? Wow. But I really see you making a lot of money in March. I feel you are very financially stable and you're really just moving forward like from anything in the past that does not serve you, Virgo. Damn right. Yeah, and you're, it's like you weren't sure. I feel like you weren't sure that this business was going to grow, but you're about to see in March that it's growing. The work that you've invested and put it put in is not in vain. Okay. So what's the bad part about March for my Virgos? What's the bad that they should be prepared for? Okay, six of cups. So obviously somebody could be coming back from your past. You don't want to deal with them. They could be a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio as well. Or you could have some issues with your kids. I feel like there could be issues with children here, disciplinary issues or maybe you feel like your kids are separating from you. They're getting older. You don't feel as connected with them. You're having maybe some bad memories, flashbacks, trauma from the past. Even though you're overcoming so much, it's like it's still hard because you're still remembering things from the past that kind of like set you back. But you're not trying to let it set you back. It's just kind of like a subconscious thing. What's the Six of Cups? Hangman in reverse. Yeah, so I feel like there is someone from your past that may return. Um, someone who you no longer want to be attached to. Could be a Pisces. What else is the Six of Cups? What else? 
Damn, that moon card could be Cancer or a Pisces. That's why you got water up here. Okay. I feel like somebody is going to approach you. I feel like they are going to create some level of uncertainty, bring up old memories from your past or, or, or try to bring, I feel like they're bringing in confusion here, uncertainty. They're making you feel unstable at this point. And it's like, it's like, you don't see why, like, you can't understand why this person is coming back now. You're confused. Like with this hangman in reverse, this is like enlightenment, seeing the truth, realizing, looking at things from a different perspective. But it's like they're coming back with the same attitude. So you're like, why? You're like, what? You can't understand why they're coming back, still keeping secrets, still being mysterious. And for some of you who don't have a past person come back, I just feel like you're a little perplexed as to how to move forward from the past or how to release bad memories, release the pain of bad experiences from your life. And it's like you're you're not able to find a solution. You're confused about how to do this. Yeah, the three of swords. Yeah, it's like you're trying to trust your guides, you're trying to trust your intuition, trust God, whoever you believe in. You're trying to take a leap of faith. You're trying to be courageous in everything that you do. It's like you're trying to put your heart back together because all these strings, it's like she's trying to pull. I feel like she's trying to put her heart back together, but it's being pulled in so many different directions. So I really feel like I need to tell y'all to just, you know, be careful who you allow into your energy. Be careful who you allow, like, in your life if they ask you for help. Like, don't stretch yourself too thin. But I just really feel like you're perplexed. You're confused. You're, it's, it, it, it's, it's like, damn, Virgo. You're like, how do I get over this shit from my past? Like, how do I move forward? Like, you can't see how to move forward. And if this is a past person coming back, they're coming back still with, with deceit, lies, secrets, confusion. With the same dry ass fucking perspective that they had before. And it's like, they want to move on from this pain that they caused. It's like, they don't want to address the pain that they caused you. What's the hangman? Yeah, King, King of Swords. Could be an Aquarius. Didn't. No, could be an Aquarius. Maybe that's that Libra. I just see the bad part about March for you, Virgo, is that you're really trying to find clarity and it's eluding you. It's it's eluding you to a certain degree. What's the moon card? Okay. Three of Wands. And the Death and Rebirth. Yeah. Yeah, so it's like, it's kind of bad. March is kind of hard because it's like you're trying to reinvent yourself. And you're and you're really, really waiting for this new beginning to take place. You're looking for the answers. You're looking for the options. It's like, but you can't find them. And you're really just kind of impatiently waiting for these answers to come to you and it's eluding you. And if this person is coming back from your past, it's like they're coming back on the same old shit. And like, you're not sure if they really, if you should end this or if you should wait to see if it's going to change. What's the king of swords? The lovers. I feel like you, but you, that's, yeah, you got the lovers and the six of cups. I feel like you feel very emotionally 
spiritually and physically attached to this person. And I feel like deep down, you do want the dynamic to change within um, your relationship with this person. But it, it's like with this King of Swords, it's like deep down, you know that they haven't changed or they're not trying to see your side. What's the what's the lover's card? Yeah, the King of Wands. I also feel that you, the bad part is that you may be happy that this person is back and you want everything to go well, but you're confused as to whether or not you should wait on this person, whether or not they've changed, um, whether or not they're coming back like new or whether or not they're still on that same bullshit. And I feel like the bad part is you're going to realize that they're not trying to see your side or they're not trying to see your perspective. They're kind of only seeing their side of it with this King of Swords and the King of Wands. What's the King of Wands? What's the King of Wands? Y'all be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Ooh, the devil, Jesus. Yeah, it's like you realize that even though you love this person, it's like you know you need a change. You know you, you need to find something better. But it's like you don't know how to, even if this person is not actually physically resurfacing in your life, I feel like the bad part is you either still feel their energy. Like if this is just a recent breakup, you still feel their energy. You still feel connected to them. You don't know how to release this. And you're looking for something better. You want a new beginning. But you still feel bound to this person or attached to this person in a very toxic way. What's the death and rebirth? What's the death and rebirth? The ch yeah. Chariot. Shit. Yeah. I just feel like, Virgo, even if this person is not actually in your life, you're, it's like, you're happy. The good part is that you finally are separated from them, like legally, if that was the case, or you, you know, you just, you just finally feel like you have your space back. You like you're ground, you're working on grounding yourself. You're working on getting yourself balanced. Maybe now that this person moved out of your house or now that you have space from them, you're, you're, you're free. You're focusing on loving yourself. I feel like you're having career advancement. Um, and you're very hopeful. You have a very positive mindset. And that's the good part. Because I feel like you're dealing with a lot of internal um, conflict and turmoil. Okay. So far we have Aquarius here. Taurus, Libra, Gemini, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Capricorn, Cancer again. A lot of Cancer. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it's like, I just get this energy of like confusion, being perplexed, not being able to see clearly, not being able to understand where you need to go, what you need to do. You don't know what you need to work on. You just know you need to work on something. Like you don't know where to start. Okay. So what is the ugly part for my Virgo so that they can be prepared to a sword? You're going to have to make a decision. What's the two of swords? And you're going to avoid it. You're not going to want to make this decision. What's the two of swords? The sun. You're going to have to make a decision to be happy. And it's like you can't clearly like see how to do that. What's the sun? Huh. Yeah, the nine of cups and the five of swords. It's Yeah, it's, it's stressing you out. I feel like. I feel, Virgo, that you're dealing with an issue here of being with somebody who did not value you. You realize this. You got through it. You may have had children with this person. You may have even been married to this person. Whatever status y'all were in, it's the fact that it's like you're trying to gain your strength back. And it's hard because it's the beginning or it's like it, it it's fresh, like it's a fresh wound. 
And I feel like you really are trying to be happy here. You're really trying to um, be happy on your own. Both of these people are, you know, have their hands up. You, it's like you're, you're, it's like you're going, I feel, I see you, I feel like I see you going outside, like literally putting your hands up, like, God, what do I need to do to be happy? And I feel like there's something you may be avoiding, a decision you may be avoiding because it creates a lot of stress for you. But there's something that you need to do that you're not wanting to do. Maybe you have to tell this person, maybe you separated from this person and you feel like there's unfinished business. Like you never told this person how they made you feel. And that energy, that five of swords energy is still kind of like <clears throat> residing in your spirit, preventing you from being happy. And I feel like it's, it, I feel like you're actually feeling good but the fact that you're alone is kind of fucked up for you right now. Yeah, the seven of wands, the fact that you're by yourself is kind of like, you know, fucking you up. Or the fact that you haven't told this person. I feel like you are needing to like look at your situation in a practical light and less of a spiritual light okay what's the five of swords because i feel like if you it's something about the material world like the 3d versus the 5d like if you finish the business in the 3d then you'll feel more fulfilled and be able to release the energy in the 5d you get what i'm saying Two of Cups. Yeah, it's like there's a conversation that you're dreading here. Five of Swords, Two of Cups. It's like you're dreading having this conversation or you really don't want to deal with this person because they just, like, they give you a headache. They stress you out. You feel like they're not even going to really understand how you feel. But it's like you get, you have this urge that you have to, like, say this final word to this person Virgo I what I'm gonna say is that I've noticed in my own life that yes you may dread the conversation yes you may not want to deal with this person's energy but you have soulmate cards here two of cups lovers six of cups I really feel as if and you got the devil card so I really feel as if this person has a hold or control over you like that you can't see. And I've noticed that when you express yourself, even if it's something that's hard, it's very freeing. So that may be what you need to do. What's the nine of cups? What's the nine of cups? Cause it's like, it's blocking your happiness. What's the nine of cups? Oh. Page of Swords, Nine of Wands, and Queen of Pentacles. Okay, yeah. It's like the ugly part is like, you know you need to have this conversation, but you're dreading it. You're putting it off. You're trying to ignore it. But it's like this thought, it, it just keeps creeping in your mind. Because that's what's blocking you from being happy is the fact that you're ignoring having this conversation or you're trying to avoid having this conversation because you feel like in order to protect your thoughts, page of swords, nine of wands, in order to guard yourself, protect your energy, protect your stability, be independent. It's like you, it's like you feel like you have to just walk away from this. But I feel like that's also kind of holding you back because if you get it off your chest, I feel like you're gonna be a lot happier. You're gonna feel a lot more secure within yourself with your decision. I feel like you're kind of insecure about your decision and that's the bad part is like you you do something, you, you act on this, you, you break up with this person, you divorce from this person, you, you you do whatever you got to do to get this person out of your life but then it's like 
in the back of your mind, you're kind of hoping it'll get better or, or you're hoping that they'll do right by you, but it's like, they're not proving that they're not showing that. And even if they come back around, they're still in the same shit. So it's like, you're just kind of avoiding them, but I feel like you find, you need to say the final word. What's the two of cups? What's the two of cups? You need to have a conversation. Yeah, about how they made you feel. They could have made you feel very anxious, trapped, paranoid. Feel a very paranoid energy. I feel like you're very anxious about talking to this person. If they actually do materialize, the bad part is that they don't come back with any real changes. And I feel like the ugly part is that you realize this. And it's like you're playing a mind game on yourself, like you're happy, but you're really very anxious about whether or not this is going to be successful. They could be still holding back from you. Or you're just holding on to a situation that's no longer serving you. What's the Eight of Swords, Nine of Wands, and the Queen of Pentacles? Yeah, Four of Cups. So I, actually, it was it was upright, but then it was kind of in reverse. Like, so I feel like it, it, the the ugly part is that you you do want to be with this person or. You want to reconcile with them. You want to have a new start with them, but it's like they're just still on the same fucking bullshit. And either you reconcile with them and you regret it because you feel like you may not have made the right decision or you're just trying to get them out of your energy, but you feel really attached and it's really hard for you to move on. And it makes you kind of like, it, I feel like it makes you kind of like distracted from like your other responsibilities. Yeah, it's like this heart, it's, it's a very strong heartbreak energy. Three of swords at the bottom and 10 of swords at the back. I just feel like you're exhausted by the situation. But I really feel like it's going to help you Virgo to say your final piece. Okay, it's going to help you move forward. Like may, some of you may want to tell this person like, you made me feel very trapped. I feel like I had to protect myself from you. I feel like I always had to watch what you were doing and that wasn't fair. And you always acted like you didn't want me or you always made me feel... Like, I was grateful for you, but you weren't grateful for me. Like, I, I feel like you need to express those feelings, okay? So, Guardian Angels, what is my Virgo's advice? Y'all be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Okay, Page of Pentacles. Can I get one more for my Virgo's advice? Two of Wands. So, the Page of Pentacles and the Two of Wands... If any of y'all are thinking about going back to this person, they resurface. I really feel like your advice is to really decide if that's what you want. Do you really want to take back this page offer? I feel like also if you guys feel like... <coughs> My bad. If you feel like y'all need to apologize for anything or you need to say anything, I feel like you need to make the decision of whether or not you're going to have this conversation. I feel like that's your advice. And I feel like the ugly part is you're trying to avoid it, but it's not going to go away. So that's really the ugly part about it. And your advice is to make a decision to have this conversation. Yeah. Yeah. Be truthful about how you feel. Ace of Swords, Ten of Pen oh shit, Ten of Pentacles, Lord. Ten of Swords at the at the bottom. Ace of up. Uh, why do I keep wanting to say Pentacles? I feel like somebody want their family back. 
You got the Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, now the Ten of Swords. But the thing is, they weren't putting in their effort. They weren't pulling their weight. It was too much of a burden on you. And you know that's the truth. And it's like, you know you need to move forward. So I feel like live in your truth. Speak your truth so that you can move on. That's your advice. Make a decision to say what you have to say so that you can be done with this bullshit. Okay, Virgo. So let me go ahead and pull some Miss Baby. We're going to see what people have to say to you that they either can't, don't, shit or won't say <laughs> my finger got caught on the card Green angels what do people want to say to my virgos that they either can't don't or won't say what do people want to say to my virgos that they either can't don't or won't say okay let's see what do they want to say to my virgos what do they want to say to my Virgos in regards to this situation? Wow. I know I owe you an apology. Ooh. Mm -mm. Third party. And I didn't know what to say. So you may have found out that somebody was cheating on you, had, a, had you in an entanglement. I mean, we do have the Three of Cups here, but I don't think that's that. I think that's more so you celebrating um, your accomplishments. You forced me to heal my wounds. Okay. And then at the bottom, I traded in gold for Chuck E. Cheese coins. So somebody really regrets what they did about putting you in an entanglement. They know they owe you an apology for that. And I feel like you confronted them on this, but they, you know, basically put their fucking foot in their mouth. Because they know that you were more valuable than whatever they fucked up the relationship for. I really, I wasn't ready for you then, but I'm working on it now. Okay, so somebody calls themselves working on it. I feel like that's what they may come back and say. But I just feel like they're not really like seeing the bigger picture. They're not really, they're either not owning up to being wrong. Or they're not seeing your side. Or they're not telling you that they see your side because of pride. Okay, so let me go ahead and get an angel answer for you, Virgo. Oh, shit. I just, yeah. I just feel like this person knows they did wrong, but they're just not owning up to it. The, the, the signs, okay. Leo, Cancer, Scorpio, Capricorn, Gemini, Cancer, Pisces, Aquarius, Taurus, Libra. Okay. So maybe Sagittarius. Maybe, um, yeah, maybe Sagittarius too. This piece of fucking hair just will not stop jumping on me. My bad, y'all. So what's the most important angel answer for my Virgos in regards to the situation, God? Guardian angels, what is the most important angel answer in the near future? Okay. So I feel like you're going to con see conclusions are within reach. So I feel like you're going to gain some type of closure. You're going to regain some type of balance in the near future. Ask for help from others and talk to people. Ask for help from your friends. Don't do this shit alone, Virgo. You're ready. I feel like you're ready to heal, okay? So I hope these messages have helped you guys. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe as always. Check out your playlist for Virgo. Stick to the positivity today and every day. Be blessed. And don't let none of these motherfuckers fade your judge. Bye, Virgo. See you next time.